Kobe. All right, I skipped breakfast today. Don't mind me. But look, let's get into these three things that every artist needs before they hit the studio session. I'm pretty sure your engineers already elaborated on these topics before. I just wanted to reiterate them for 2022. Number one on my list, have your beats downloaded already. If you got track outs, don't spend time trying to use up our internet downloading them here. It's gonna be a waste of your time because I didn't get the big package. Xfinity be taxing. I'll link my favorite YouTube converter in the description below. They'll let you convert to MP3, WAV, that actually let you download the video, so no hassle there. If you're pulling up your beats off your email, just go ahead and forward them over before you pull up. Make it simple. We'll be here before you, so we can just download them. But if you just got here and trying to figure out what email your producer sent the beats to, and if he sent them at all, and you got to get access through Google Drive, bro, you're wasting time. And I'd hate to waste your time. I'm already taking your money. The one exception I'll give is if you're actually just browsing through YouTube for beats on the spot. That's up to you. You can use your time up as much as you like, however you like. But I will say, it might be smart to have an idea when you want to take this. Having direction is just going to save you time in the long run. It's one thing about time. You can get money back, but you can't get that time back. This next one is just as equally important. And you might already have this. Might not even have to go to the store. Bring a storage device. Your iPhone, your iPad, your MacBook. They're all great storage devices. You know why? Because they have iCloud Drive as well. So as soon as we airdrop a whole session to your phone, you can back it up in your drive. Now it's about three backups. Your phone, the computer that it was made on, and your iCloud drive. If you don't have an Apple product, just go ahead and bring a jump drive, a mechanical drive, preferably an SSD. I'm not gonna get into the specifics of what drive you should bring, just bring something. And last but not least, just bring you early. Don't expect time to start when you arrive. That's just bad business. It doesn't even make sense, honestly. You are booking time slots, not amounts of time. And you wanna make sure you're using your time wisely, so don't even expect for there to be available time to purchase afterwards. Never assume that the studio has nothing going on before you or after you. So with that said, don't arrive too early and don't be too late. I wanna say a good time frame is 15 minutes before. Let your engineer know that you're there. They might let you in 10, 15 minutes before. That'll give you time to go over all of the production that you want to use, go over the session details that you need to give your engineer, and just get some food and drinks and make sure you have everything ready. Now, I know this video might have sounded like a broken record, but a lot of people still don't do these things. Still using YouTube converters in their session, still never bringing a storage device, and still just arriving late. You are literally paying for this time. It's your time, so use it wisely. My name is Ray from Verify Sounds, and I hope to see you in the next video.